Okay, so that's not gonna work. Bam. All right, hey y'all. So this is how I look without makeup. So yay. Um, I'm here real quick. I'm actually about to do my makeup. So I'm about to do a, a video for y'all. Um, in addition to the dear black people one I put up yesterday, I believe. Um, but real quick, it came to my attention. Fifty Cent been acting a damn fool on the internet, going after his ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or baby mom, however you want to refer to her. Um, Shaquina Shaniqua. That's how you say it, Shaniqua Tompkins, and her his son Marquise, who I'm assuming last name maybe or may not be Tompkins. Um, I have a couple issues with it. One, because the fucking son is calling his daddy all kind of bitch niggas. And according to what I've looked up, he's been calling him a few bitch niggas for a few years now. The fuck, bitch? Let me tell you something. I post this comment on his page, her page, and the son page and let them know. Nigga, I don't even like my ex-husband like that. I don't like my daughter daddy like that. He left us fucking homeless, nigga. Homeless to go with the bitch he was with for the last five years because she was taking care of him. So he basically ditched his family that he was struggling with because he wasn't doing financially that good at the time. Um, To go to take the easy route to being taken care of. And I didn't respect him for that or none of that shit. Not to put y'all in my business, but like I didn't respect that shit. But my daughter... Will never fucking know that shit. That's not her fucking business. So, Shaniqua Tompkins, how dare you, for one, allow your son to know your, your true feelings towards his daddy. 50 Cent, how dare you allow your son to know your true feelings towards his fucking mama. Crazy. You know boys gonna uh, side with their mama. So, that's fucking retarded on both of y'all's part. Okay, and then, bitch, how dare you allow your son to not only take sides and pick your side. So, I guess you thought it was flattering the first time he said, fuck daddy, mama, here, bitch, nigga. <laughs> Repeating the shit that you said. And he was like, ah, say it again, baby. Videotape it. Text to your daddy. Even your son say you a bitch. But no, let my daughter get a hold to some information between me and her dad. And she decides that her dad is a whole ass nigga for treating her mama like that. I'm going to whoop her motherfucking ass because that's your daddy. And regardless of how he did me or how we get along or how we don't get along, that's your fucking daddy. He fucking love you. And he'll take the same bullet for you that I would. So you got him fucked up. You're going to fucking respect him for being your father. Fuck me and his relationship. I wasn't perfect either. I, I fucked his whole Cadillac up because he was cheating. You know what I'm saying? Now one of us was perfect. Like, he did, he, I think he did more fuckery than me. My fuckery was in response to his fuckery. But guess what? Our daughter don't know about none of our fuckery. That's the fucking point. How dare y'all be such a bad example? Don't be on a public platform dissing each other and shit. And, and with that bullshit, like not publicly. Black people, we got to stop shaming each other and embarrassing each other on these public platforms. Like, stop that shit and make us like complete fucking asses. Bitch. Check, whoop his ass. As soon as he started disrespecting his daddy, you should have been in his motherfucking shit. You should have been in his shit. Nigga, get out of me and your daddy business. Let us fight. And then, bitch, how you gonna get mad at him and, st and start making your son hate his daddy because he put you out the house he bought because you moved your nigga in there? Bitch, I'm not fit to take care of you enough. Let me tell you something. And I hope you don't let your son be no dumb, crash, dummy-ass nigga. Bitch, you thought your pussy was that good? Well, this nigga was going to put you in the house because you had his baby. And then let you shack up with another nigga in the house he paying for? No. If that nigga... Number one, if I'm if 50 Cent is my baby daddy, you know, or what it, my ex, I'm not supposed to be fucking with another nigga that's not on 50 Cent level. I'm not going to go fuck no broke nigga. So if I do mess with another man, trust and believe he going to take me out the house that you bought me, buy me and my son a better house, and, and gal me and be my man or be my mistress or I'm going to be his side chick or whatever it is. But my, me and my nigga got the fuck in the house you bought, baby. Believe that. Matter of fact, you, matter of fact I don't even need this house because I'm already fucking with another balling ass nigga. That's her fault for being lame. One. So, like, bitch. And then when, you, when the shit kick off, your son was apart from his daddy the first time we ever see 50 cent publicly with his son he was publicly going to do a dispute with you at the time was when the boy was like six or seven 
So in that time, you had plenty of time to brainwash him to make him feel type of way about his daddy. You can see in that little video we have on a purple jersey, how he's giving his daddy all kind of side eyes and looking at him all crazy and shit. Already acting like his fucking mama. Nigga, your son ain't like a bitch like you do. And that's you ought to be ashamed of that shit. For real, for real. For real, for real. You don't let no, no he's gonna the I know the opposite sex relationship is the most important, according to Dr. Amos Wilson and a couple of other psychiatrists, but I, I respect Amos Wilson and his uh, Psychology of a Black Child book before I respect any European authorities. So, yes, the opposite sex relationship is very important, very important. But in today's society, since we see the outcome of the fatherless child, we know the principal... The prison industrial system, we know how that functions. And we also know the school to pipeline system, prison system, we know how that functions. So we know all these things. The last thing your baby need is to have this type of dis contention or discontention. I'm, I'm thinking I'm using both of those terms wrong. Oh, yeah, discontention with his fucking father. When the studio he rap the studio equipment that he rapping on was paid for with that nigga child's part money. You've been raising him, you know, affordably well outside of this. You know what I'm saying? With this man's money. Come on. So you can take his money and spend it, but you can't respect the child. If you're going to say, fuck him, bitch, I'll be ripping up the nigga child support money, burning that shit, setting that shit on fire, sending that shit to him. Like, yeah, bitch, you got to give me 30000 a month, and every month I'm setting this fucking shit on fire, nigga. Or make a college fund for your child, or an adult fund for your child, and live off your new man. But how dare you let your son cut... Like, condone your son disrespecting and beefing with his daddy. Like, nah, you got a problem with that man. You don't fucking like him. Y'all beefing. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck they got to do with him? He can't choose sides in y'all fight. He can't. And, if, and Marquise, if you were smart, you'd have played two ends against the middle and got what you needed from both of them motherfuckers. I, my, my parents got divorced. I played the shit out of both their ass. My mama said I can't have the Jordans. Don't worry about it. Let me go tell my dad. Yo, mama said I can't have me. You bet not buy them. Bitch, where I'm at in Foot Locker? Tripping. Divorce, the best thing happened to me. Oh, mama said you better not get the house that pool in the backyard because you know I'm scared of water. Blah, blah, sh sh bet daddy got the house. Oh, 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 mama, come on now. Stop it. Y'all are tripping. And look at him. Now he's suffering. He don't have the benefit of the legacy of his dad. And then you let him be photographed and hanging out with niggas that you know this nigga don't like. Then you, then Floyd Mayweather used you and your son to get back at 50 because the nigga ain't look out for you. He ain't buy you no crib. He ain't buy you no house. She wasn't even his bitch. You just got used as a pawn in the 50 cent and floyd mayweather beef and now as an outcome of that shit that happened damn near a decade ago this boy don't like his fucking daddy bitch stop because you made him cross his daddy out to such a magnitude that's a street nigga baby let me tell you something i can cut off any motherfucking body bitch my cut off is real strong Bitch, I don't give a fuck. And once I cut you off, I don't go back. So I feel you, 50. But that's your son, so you need to talk to him and have some type of counsel with him and make up. Now, you wrong for dissing his mama on a public platform, forcing your son to feel like he had to choose. She might have been wrong for facilitating that environment, but you was wrong for making him feel like he had to choose. If anything, you should have put your fucking lawyers on that nigga, took him from her broke ass and then raised him which I'm, I'm pretty sure you tried but she don't seem to be like too trifling to the point to where you couldn't take her son but um that's what you should have did i don't care if you had to bribe a judge bribe the da you could have bought your son a cool million dollars on a bunch of broke europeans you you could have bought your son and raised him and had him visiting her on the weekends and had her paying you child support or had child support ordered you didn't have to go the route you with. You didn't have to say, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. We know you hurt. That's why every year you remind him you were closely being cut off your child support. Because that's really you low-key begging him to call you. Humble yourself. And go tell your son, look, dog, I'm sorry about how I did your mama, but that bitch had to come. And, oh, well, don't say that. You know, I apologize how I did your mama, period. Don't put no butts in there. Because real apologies don't come with butts. Just like real thank yous don't come with butts. So, um, y'all need to work that fucking shit out. Now, I was, I'm here for the mess, because, baby, when he was telling that hoe she got to go to the strip club, I fucking died laughing. When that nigga put that for a closure, bitch, you was getting how much money in my child support, and you couldn't pay for no $300,000 house? Girl, I fucking died laughing. But, like, the shit, it, like, culturally, it's not funny. 
culturally, Europeans can have a field day with this fucking shit. Like, culturally, we look terrible. We look bad. We don't look good as a motherfucking unit. And I believe that um, they need some counsel. They need some help. Shamika, baby, need to humble yourself. And if you got a nigga, I'm pretty sure you had a man. You you, you done paid for a pretty banging body with, with 50 money. So I'm pretty sure you can get a man with that body that 50 paid for. Get you a new man. If you got one, good. So just because you have a good man in your life, that doesn't mean that he gets to replace 50 in your son's life. I don't know how late it is in the game, but my daughter better not ever disrespect her fucking daddy like that. I don't care if she if she hit that nigga below the bed. Everything she say is fucking true. You better not ever, never ever. This and I'm a ride for him in the eyes of his daughter. I think he, you know, my daughter might see this when she get around. So I ain't gonna say what I really think of him, but she got me and him fucked up. All the bitches and hoes he didn't call me. I bet he ain't never called me no bitch no hoe in front of his fucking daughter. I bet never he he never told his daughter I was a bitch. I like not a, a hoe like a, a literal hoe, because I ain't never been like that. I'm not a promiscuous woman, but you know how you mad at somebody, you like your bitch ass hoe ass bitch. You know. That boy done cussed me out plenty of times. I done cussed him out plenty of times. I done called him dumb fuck motherfuckers. All kind of shit. But guess what? Guess what? Well, when we see each other, oh, I love you. I love you too. Be careful. Y'all have fun this weekend. <laughs> Bitches, nigga. Put on the front for your fucking kids. What's wrong with y'all? In black America, what is the matter with y'all? You don't get to not like your baby mama. You don't get to not like your baby daddy in the eyes of your children. You don't fucking get to do that fucking shit. Because that makes them fucked up. You are raising them in a PTSD-driven environment where they can't handle the stress. They don't know what the fuck. Like, damn. They can't go to now one of their parents. They, uh. Y'all got to stop that shit. That's some weak-ass shit, 50 Cent, for you blasting her like that on a regular basis online. You know, you know how boys is about their mamas. How was you about your mama? We all saw Get Rich or Die Trying. How was you about your tea lady? Just because she ain't as gangsta and as thoroughbred as your mama, that don't mean she's not still somebody's mama. She's Marquise's mama. And he gonna ride for that bitch. You shouldn't have put that... Go get your kid, dog. Go get your kid. And Shamika, you and 50 Cent need to have a meeting and say, you know what, nigga? I don't like you. I don't like you. But you a good dude. Like, the, I remember all the reasons why I was fucking you in the first place. You got to remember all the reasons why you put a baby in her in the first place. We all saw the movie. We know she held you down when your ass got shot the fuck up. Maybe money changed y'all. Maybe y'all should have stayed broke. And y'all would have raised this phenomenal family with a whole bunch more kids. Because that's what you wanted with her when you first got with her 50. And that's why you got pissed off when she moved that nigga in your house. Because you thought y'all was going to get back together one motherfucking day. You thought you was going to play her and do all that shit you was doing because you knew rich. And thought you was going to play her like that. And she was like, oh, no, nah, boo. Bye. I'm over you. I can live off my child support checks. Let me move this my new boo in here who, who dicking me down. Making me feel special. Well, he should have made you feel special the hotel room, sis. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Bitch, because guess what? Any day my ex-husband get rich. I'm not going to, that child support, whatever the fuck, that shit will go in the fucking bank for his kid. I'll be texting him all day long, give me some money, give me some money. I need some gas, pay my car, no, buy me a truck. Bitch, nigga, please, please. I, can't, I asked him to pay my cell phone bill this month. And we don't like each other. Shut fuck. Shit. You crazy as hell. There's no way my child have a rich ass daddy that he don't get along with. There's no way I'm going to have a rich ass ex that I don't get along with just on some hood game shit. And then I'm not going to have a rich ex and my next not be as rich as my ex. Bitches, you crazy. Okay, let me know what y'all think about it. 50, you need to chillax. Chill out on that child support shit. Go get your son. Y'all need to get some private counseling. Not Ayanna Van Zandt, but an actual certified, legitimized therapist, Dr. Umar Johnson, I'm sure he can help y'all out. Somebody got to help y'all. Okay? Because you need a hood ghetto psychologist that knows some hood ghetto shit, but actually can fix you in a clinical manner. That's what you need. Burn you some rosemary. 
I mean, boil you some rosemary, let that flow into the house. It's a, it's a uh, antidepressant and it also is a, a, a de-stressor. Burn you some frankincense and myrrh to clean out the energies that's coming into the room. Have some say, put some sage in all three of y'all hands, and every time, spark it up. Every time you want to say some bullshit, and y'all hash that shit out. Hash it out, cause Curtis, Shamika, and Marquise should at least be friends. Let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, share. Fifty, go get your son. Shamika, go get cool with your ex. Marquise. Tell you, you a grown ass man. Tell your parents to leave me out your motherfucking business. Mama, I'm fixed to go be cool with daddy. Daddy, I love my mama. Stop disrespecting her. And y'all gonna have to come on. Let me let the world see y'all come together. Let the a lot of the world to see y'all been spread apart for five, six, damn near a decade now. Now let the world see y'all come together. All right. If y'all not gonna do it for each other, do it to be a, to be a bad example for y'all people. Cause all of y'all been hurt. Y'all shouldn't want nobody in y'all black communities hurt like y'all are hurting. Peace and love, y'all. Like, subscribe, share, and, you know, let's talk about it.